Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will explain to you step by step how you can convert a CTL mesh file to a solid body in Fusion 360. So let's get started. For today's example, I will use a phone holder mesh and you can download it for free from the link below. I will cover now two ways how to do it and I will start with the easiest one. First of all, I will go to the insert section and please notice that I am in the solid modeling tab and I will go to the insert mesh. The same feature, I have it also in this mesh tab. It is exactly the same feature. I will select the object from my computer. And as you can see, the object that I can select are just STL, OBJ and 3MF files. So our file is a STL, so it is perfect. I will select it and then I will open it. STL and OBJ files are unitless. So you have to select the correct scale for your model, as you can see here. You can choose between centimeters, millimeters, meters, inches and feet. In our case, the drawing was modeled in millimeters, so I will let it like this. Meanwhile, the 3MF files include units. Moreover, with this feature you can import multiple mesh files by once. But in this case I have just one single body or one mesh. After you imported your file, you can see here at bodies that you have this gold icon, which means it is a mesh file. At the other side you have some settings. You can choose the direction, and to be even more clear those with the position, I will make the origin visible. And now, as you can see, I can move my object in the center, as it is here, or I can move it to the ground. You can see this little plane. Okay, let's say I will let it like this and I'll press OK. And I make the origin invisible again. To have no errors, it is recommended to create a face group. Under the prepare section, you can find here the generate face group feature. Generating face group will help determine the boundary of each set of faces or where the geometry change in curvature. After that, as you can see here, we need to select the body. This one it will be. You can click on it or you can select it from the browser menu. And after that, you have here two options. To be fast or to be accurate. Try always to select accurate first, but keep it in mind that sometimes it may not work with the models with a large number of faces. And after that, Press OK. Now, as you can see, we have the second feature in the history bar. The next step that we should do is to convert it into a solid body. In order to do that, let's go here to modify and then convert mesh. Of course, we will select again the body and here we have two settings as well. You should use the parametric when you want to retain the flexibility to make changes. This one I recommend the most. And when it comes to base feature, you should use it when you have a large mesh file or when you plan to make a lot of changes to the mesh. But for this example, I will go with parametric. And when it comes to method, face it. And here, keep it in mind that if the mesh is fully closed, the mesh will become a solid body. And if the mesh has open it will become a surface body. But again, my recommendation is to go with prismatic. On the other hand, prismatic option will merge groups of faces into singular faces, for example here, in this tiny area. Also resulting in a solid or a surface body. But overall, for sure, you'll have much more cleaner results. And after that, I'll press OK. And look at that. As you can notice, also the icon change from that gold icon into the solid body icon. Unfortunately, the prismatic option is not included in the free personal use license. There you have only the faced it one. And after that, as you can see, we can use now all the tools from the solid modeling. For example, press pull. Or to create another radius. Here, for example, and the list goes on. And it works as a normal file in Fusion 360. The second way how you can convert it is pretty similar. You can go here to open, open from my computer again, select the same file, open. And the first difference that you'll notice for sure, it will be the absence of the history bar here. 
compared to the other one when you have all the operations by start. In order to have them, just right click at the top level component and choose capture design history. And now you have the history bar again. And of course, you can see all the operations that we will make in order to come back or to correct something. And I will apply the same features. I will go to mesh, I will go to prepare, generate face groups, accurate, okay. And after that, convert mesh. And it will be the same. In conclusion, I recommend using the insert mesh feature for efficiency and the ability to insert more meshes in the same time. I hope this video helped you. Learn more about the program and don't hesitate to collaborate with me. Any service is just a click away. And if you have questions, leave them in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and see you next time.